Now, let me discuss about the class 5 agents. So, if you take the class 5 agents, the examples they include digoxin, they include adenosin, right? They include adenosin. The other drugs are magnesium, and then we have atropine, and the other drugs are even your potassium, right? Even your potassium. Now, let me discuss one by one. You take the drug that is digoxin, right? You take the drug that is digoxin. Remember, digoxin, it increases the vagal activity, right? Now, because it increases the vagal activity, so digoxin, it increases the vagal activity. So, remember, because digoxin increases the vagal activity, it is used for controlling the ventricular rate in atrial fibrillation, right, in atrial fibrillation and as well as the atrial flutter, right, atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter. So, that is about your digoxin. Next, you take the other important drug that is adenosin, right, the other important drug that is adenosin. Now, if you see this adenosin, remember, adenosin, it opens the potassium channels. Because the adenosin opens the potassium channels, this adenosin, it leads to the hyperpolarization of the AV node, right? Adenosin, it opens the potassium channels, right? Now, so once there is opening of the potassium channels, what will happen? There is hyperpolarization of the AV node. So, this lead to hyperpolarization of the AV node. Now, because there is hyperpolarization of the AV node, the AV node, it gets inhibited. Now, once the AV node is being inhibited, the impulses from atria will not reach the ventricle and thereby it is used as the drug of choice for the treatment of PSVT, right? Drug of choice for paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. Now, the very, very important point is the adenosin, it is very short acting drug, right? It is a very short acting agent. And if you take the T half, the T half is around 10 seconds, right? The T half is around 10 seconds. Now, because the adenosin, it has the T half of only 10 seconds. Therefore, the adverse effects like flushing of the face, and bronchospasm, they are also short-lived, right? So, the adverse effects like flushing of the face and as well as bronchospasm, right? As well as the bronchospasm, they are short-lived, right? They are short-lived. Next, now you take the other drug that is, now, Continuing this adenosin, remember we have a drug called as theophylline. Theophylline, it is an adenosin receptor antagonist. Remember, theophylline, it is an adenosin receptor antagonist. Because theophylline inhibits the adenosin receptor, theophylline, right, theophylline, it is adenosin, right, it is adenosin receptor antagonist right it is an adenosine receptor antagonist now because theophylline is an adenosine receptor antagonist theophylline inhibits the action of the adenosine right inhibits the action of the adenosine whereas you take the other agent the other agent is your dipyridamol right the other agent is dipyridamol so, if you take this particular dipyridamol, dipyridamol, it potentiates the action of the theophylline by inhibiting the reuptake of adenosine, okay? So, dipyridamol, right, dipyridamol, it potentiates the action of adenosine by inhibiting the reuptake, right, by inhibiting the reuptake of adenosine, right, by inhibiting the reuptake of adenosin right so these are important points regarding the adenosin now we have the important agent that is magnesium remember magnesium is used for the treatment of both congenital and acquired long qt syndrome right this is a very important multiple choice question so it is used for 
right it is used for congenital and acquired long qt syndrome right so that is the important point regarding the magnesium so let me shortly revise the class 5 agents the class 5 agents they include digoxin adenosine magnesium atropine and as well as the potassium and if you take the digoxin digoxin it increases the vagal activity and it is useful for controlling the ventricular rate in atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter and the other agent if you take adenosine adenosine opens the potassium channels and lead to hyperpolarization of the av node and this adenosine it is a drug of choice for the treatment of paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia and it is a very short acting agent the t half is around 10 seconds and therefore the adverse effects like flushing of the face and bronchospasm they are also short lived and if you take an agent called theophylline theophylline being adenosine receptor antagonist inhibits the action of the adenosine whereas you take dipyridamol dipyridamol it potentiates the action of the adenosine by inhibiting the reuptake of adenosine and if you take magnesium magnesium is used for the treatment of both congenital and as well as acquired long qt syndrome